I just want to give a quick example of, of uh, a sequential circuit versus a combinatorial um, circuit. If I switch to the down camera, you can see I have an FPGA board here. And on this FPGA board, I have some push buttons. And I have some LEDs mounted off to the side here that can light up. And when I push the button, you have to watch because it's a one-shot deal on this uh, configuration. When I push the button in, we'll see two LEDs turn on zoom in there two LEDs now when I release my finger off the button one remains on alright now I need to show you the circuit for this scorch mark <laughs> yeah the scorch mark uh, I'll, I'll be explaining the scorch mark a little bit later so the difference between sequential and combinatorial logic is that sequential um, has storage elements in it. And in this particular um, diagram, I'm showing an input clock coming into the FPGA that's transitioning. And the sequential elements are sampling on the rising edge of the clock. So we can see here that there's a button being depressed at this, this instance in time, as time goes through. And as the button goes low, the sequential element latches the result of that, inverts it, and then sometime a very short distance later or time later transitions and stays on. On the combinatorial function, which is just raw gates, no storage elements, when you push the button, there's a, a nearly instantaneous transition minus the delay that the gates have, and then when you release the button it goes back to its previous state. And if we look at the circuit diagram of how this might work, we have buttons on the side coming into the FPGA. We have a flip-flop here for the sequential element that has its input tied um, high or low. And when you push the button, it enables the clock. And a very short time later after enabling and after the rising edge of the clock, the LED will go on and stay on forever or until some the power goes out or something comes in here and, and toggles a reset pin on that flip-flop. Now on the combinatorial function we have a button that comes in goes through an inverter which is just a gate it has no storage capabilities to it when you push the button it inverts the signal briefly um, with a little bit of delay introduced the LED goes on and then when you release the button, it will go back um, to its idle state. If you look at the code, this is what the Verilog code would look like for this. You have an always block, which is sensitive to the positive edge transitions of the clock. And then you write, you know, if switch equals zero, which is when you close the switch, begin. LED 1, so I had two LEDs on this, LED 1 gets assigned 0, and that's end. That's all that ever can happen to LED 1, that pin on the FPGA as it goes to 0. It can never transition out of that again. Now, um, this is the combinatorial function. This is the LED 2. It's a complement. It's an inverted version of switch input. So it just inverts the input, and it's it just flows through with a minor delay of however much logic is between the switch input and the output. The more logic you pile in here combinatorially, the slower the transit, the, the propagation delay will be through the circuit. If I, what, what, are, what are the two different kinds of logic, uh, what are they good for, combinatorial versus sequential? Um, what would you use one for or the other for? Okay, well, there's a lot of uses for them. I can't cover them all. But for instance, the case that I showed here, you might have instances where you have a switch that might transition um, sometime when you're not around, and you latch that, and you turn it on, and you want it to stay on until the time that you come back and, and look at it sometime in the future. That would be a sequential type circuit where it has some kind of built-in state in it that... Um, 
will transition over time. Now combinatorial logic, you might have multiple signals coming in that you want to turn just a single LED on, for instance. Um, you could take multiple signals, run those through some logic gates, and with just a minor delay through the logic, you could turn that LED on. Um, but it, it won't, remain, it won't uh, maintain state. But we'll go into this more in the future, the applications.